Let's go. Woo! All right, guys. Um, who's excited? <laughs> Come on. Okay. Who's confused? Yeah, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Who's skeptical? Who's not going to raise your hand? You ask whatever. <laughs> I guess you guys are negative. All right, whatever. <laughs> well, okay, guys. My name is Andreas Benitez. I'm 18 years old, and I go to Brookwood High School. Yes, I'm still in high school. It sucks, you know. Fuck, I can't wait till I leave high school, dude. Most of you guys are like in college, which is out of high school already. I'm like the youngest one here. But you know, I'm just gonna tell you my story real quick. And I got started about four and a half months ago, you know, my friend Felipe Venezuela, which at the time I didn't know who he was. So you guys are pretty lucky that you know the person who brought you to this house. You know, I actually had no idea who was who this person was. She sent me a text message, she said, dude, I have a business opportunity for you. And you know, I'm really open guys, so you're not like, damn, business opportunity, you know what? I'm gonna check it out. So I went to his house and you know, it wasn't like this at all. You guys are actually like, again, you guys are lucky that you have like an environment. Literally, it was only two people in the living room and myself, and I was just like, all right, man, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> like, what is this shit? I didn't make a weapon. I was just like, fuck, these guys are going to do something to me. <laughs> so, honestly, so, honestly, I just had an open mind, and, you know, Felipe, he seemed like a pretty cool guy, so at the time, I was still really skeptical, you know, and then he, he told me this thing that actually blew my mind at that time, and, you know, before BMO, I was that guy who just always, like, looked forward to the weekend. You know, I was like, I was like, shit, when is the next party? Dude, when are we going to start drinking? When are, like, I was that type of guy, you know, we can kind of all relate to that. We were that person. I was like, dude, we got to find a party this weekend, dude. But dude, okay, nah, dude, we got to go and drink somewhere. You know, I was that type of guy. And we, we all know friends like that. Yep. So, you know, it could, this BMO opportunity completely changed my life. So when Felipe said this to me, he said, address, dude, Someone. address, he said, address, you're a product of your five closest friends. And he Damn. said, dude, your friends are either broke Broke, broke, Daisy's rich and he's broke. And broke. <laughs> <laughs> we, we all know that person, you know, he thinks he's rich and he's like, oh, oh yeah. He's fuck. I said, dude, man, I'm going to ball out this weekend, you know, he really can't. It's just on his side. You know, we all have that person. So he made me realize, I was like, holy shit, dude, those are all my friends. All my friends are broke, 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 you know, that guy who thinks he's rich and he's broke. And broke. So by association, that made me broke. Wow. So I was like, shit, you know. No, that's true. I got to change something. You know, I have to do something different. And Felipe said, dude, um, there's 16, 18, 17 years old, you know, people with $5,000, you know, every month, you know, getting BMWs. I was like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, literally, what, what kind of drugs are you selling? <laughs> like, I was like, you know, they're doing some illegal shit. Right? He's like, nah, dude, you know, it's this energy drink. I'm like, okay, whatever, dude. I'm, I'm going to leave. And literally almost walked out. And he said, nah, dude, believe me, you know, um, have faith in this, you know, and I started listening to all the facts and all the figures and stuff, and I was like, you know, this actually can work for me. As an 18 year, as an 18 year old, um, after four months and a half, I can honestly say I'm gonna be the youngest diamond leader in the state of Georgia. Wow! Yeah. Let's go! Um, that's that's pretty cool. Uh, within a few weeks from now, I'm gonna get my free BMW 328i from the company. Which oh yeah. no way! Which honestly, 18. That's, 18, yeah, 18. Um, that's gonna be my first car, cause wow. <laughs> that car outside is not my car; it's my mom's car. So you know, <laughs> it's pretty cool. As in, like, as an 18 year old, like, none of my friends drive a BMW. I don't have any friends that drive a BMW unless you're doing the business, you know. <laughs> so, um, you know, this opportunity I've seen change my life. Like I said, I was that kind of guy who would always party. I was that kind of guy who would always like drink on the weekends, you know. Now I left all that shit behind, dude. Cause you honestly, if you want to get something different, you have to do something different. That's what I decided to change my life for. You know, because I know in the future I'm gonna be able to retire my mom because of this. Yeah. I know, in, yeah. like within like three years from now, I'm gonna say, okay, I'm literally retired. You know, with this opportunity, I was able to. It's which is crazy. You know, my mom hasn't taken a vacation in almost two years. I was able to take a vacation for a whole month and still get paid five hundred dollars. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You know, most people and most people, you know, work. <laughs> Work, work, and don't even earn that, like, in, like, two or three weeks of working, dude. And I was able to actually take a vacation. I actually call it paycation. Because I literally left they paid me. So it was crazy. Now, and after that, um, the opportunity I had with this, I, I was able to go to San Diego, California. Uh, okay. I was able to go to New York. I was able to, honestly, this summer completely changed my life. And I was able to travel a lot and meet a lot of different people, dude. I actually met this guy named Brad O'Kazin. Uh, 27 years old, he makes $500,000 a month. Oh, no! Like, yeah. Again, in my head, I was like, this guy is, you know, he's probably selling some crazy drugs out of California. <laughs> but as a 17, as a 27-year-old, dude, I never met anyone make so much money in my entire life. So, you know, I was like, dude, if this guy can do it, I can do it. If I can do it, you guys can do it. That's simple, dude. Honestly, if you want to get what someone has, you have to do and say what they do. 
every single time. You know, two plus two is equals four every single time, right? Uh -huh. So if you honestly want to get what success, successful people have, you have to do what they do. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah, Which yeah, is the truth, yeah. dude. You want to, honestly, I, I started thinking, I was like, dude, I'm not going to listen to my teacher. You know, I'm not going to listen to my mom. I love my mom. I, I fucking adore my mom. She's like my hero. But, you know, mom, you don't have what I want. You know, you don't drive the car that I want. You don't have the house that I want. You know, I want to have, have something better. So, I, you know, I don't want to find a job. I don't want to build someone's dream. Because that's what it is. Your job is building someone's dream. You're building your boss's dream. Like, let's be honest. When, are you, when is your boss actually at work? Well, I mean, unless, you know, it's a private ownership. But, like, th think about it. You're literally working your ass off, and your boss is probably on vacation. <laughs> you're sure. Long. You're building his dream. You're not building your dream. So, you know, when this opportunity came to me, I said, you know, Fuck it, I'm gonna build my dreams. I'm not gonna let anyone oh, yeah. or anyone tell me what I can or cannot do. Uh, you know, that's why I decided yeah. to do this. And you know, hopefully you guys have an open mind and you know, hear the next person out. You know, honestly.